Hi everyone, today is January the 5th, 2021, and this is Dr. Fryer. And in this screencast, I'd like to show you how you can be getting started with your Spanish portfolio ebook. Instead of our final or big test at the end of this trimester, or actually semester, we are using this portfolio to really review everything that we've done and be able to reflect on it and also share it with each other and with our parents. So I'm going to go ahead and get to Book Creator. You should already have made a copy of the template uh, as a Google Classroom assignment. And so one of the fastest ways if you don't have a bookmark you've made for Book Creator, is to just go to Cassidy Bookmarks and all the way down at the bottom, I have a link that'll go right to Book Creator. Um, of course, you're welcome to make a link to this if you want to save a faster link, but it's right there in Cassidy Bookmarks. And then you should be able to open up your uh, copy of our portfolio and you'll be able to edit it. Now, there's a lot of pages in this portfolio and I want you to relax because if you don't finish all of this, we're just going to get as much of this done as we can um, in this week. And I know we're doing remote learning, so that makes things a little harder, but I hope that you'll be able to get several of it, especially your favorite projects, put into this book. So in order to know sort of where to go and how to get started, in Google Classroom, I have created for us something called the checklist. And there's another little video that you can watch about how to use the checklist. But it's right here at the top. It's called the Final Projects Checklist. And when you open this project and you open your copy of this, because everyone gets their own copy, this has a step-by-step -step guide of really everything that you need to do for our last projects. And so you have a place where you can be putting your um, the date. I can scroll down on this. Um, so you put the dates of when you've completed these things. And this first one is your Cocoa Project. So you're going to do that first. Get your Cocoa Project completely finished to the point where you've made your screencast and you've shared that and the link on Seesaw. When you're totally done with that, you're ready to work on your ebook. And the first part we've already done, which is the portfolio. So as things are done, you can go ahead and put the day's date. Um, and that is a signal to me and to you to know that you've got that done. And you're going to do these in order. Now, I say that on the Coco project, I do want you to go in order. But if you would like to skip around here on the portfolio, the ones that I suggest you do last actually are the the second and third and the fourth and fifth pages. Those are the things that you've enjoyed the most and that you've learned the most. I'm going to suggest you do that on Friday, our last class day. Um, and the reason for that is by looking at these projects and reflecting about it, you're going to remember some of the things that we've done, some of the things you've enjoyed. And so you can do these pages last, okay? But there are a number of other things, of course, that we've done. Our house tour of Minecraft, um, our Moana Scratch Project, the House of Our Dreams, all of these kinds of things. And so when you put one of those in here, and I've got some other videos explaining how to put those videos in, you can go ahead and mark that as complete. For instance, I've done several of these, uh, like here's the Moana puppet dialogue. I've got that one finished. I need to still write my sentences here on the side, but I have my video for my dream house. Um, so I can go ahead and mark this finished. So next to where it says um, my pup Moana puppet video, I can go ahead and put either I'll put five January, but you can also you can do Jan five if, if you want to do the uh, date. Um, and I guess we could say you don't have to do this, but we could say Cinco de Enero. So that's the fifth of of January. Put the date, either in English or Spanish, in here, and that's going to be the signal to yourself and to me that you have done that particular um, page, okay? And so I know there's a lot here, and like I said, we're just going to try to get as many of these um, completed as we can. Now, I also want to remind you that you can click this link right here. I'm about to run out of time. And that's going to take you to our website where I am putting videos about how to do these things. So how do I, Dr. Fryer, put a video from Book Creator, you know, or, or sorry, from Seesaw into Book Creator or Google Drive? That's how you're gonna do that. So good luck and let me know what questions you have. And hopefully we're gonna have fun this week finishing this last project.